Hey guys, in this section what I want to do is go over all the new, not all, but most of the new semantic structural elements of HTML5. Um, HTML5 has added a lot of new, a lot of new tags uh, that are that are a lot more descriptive and just more helpful in general. Um, I have here, I have the W3 school site and you can see here it lists the, the new, um, all the new tags from HTML5. We have the semantic tags and then we have the media elements, the canvas tag, and the form elements. Uh, in this particular section we're gonna, we're gonna go over these, the semantic structural elements. We have a number of different ones and what I want to do is take the code that we've we've implemented for the blue developer directory and just make it more HTML5 friendly. I want to replace some of the div tags with section, maybe the header div uh, with a header tag and just make it more HTML friendly. So if you want to go to your, pro, your section 2 folder, your chapter 3 section 2 and in the program files you'll see we have two directories we have blue developer html and blue developer html done so open the blue developer html and we'll go to the index page what i'm going to do actually is create a new folder on my desktop because i don't want to i don't want to build in this folder because these are the actual files that you'll be using so you can build in the folder do all the edits or and, and all the, the stuff in the folder but um, I'm gonna create a new one and I'm just gonna copy files over so I'm gonna take I'm gonna copy everything and I'm just gonna place it in this folder <coughs> I'm sorry um, so let's open the index HTML file. I'm going to open it with Notepad++, and here it is. Okay. Now, right away when we look at this document, um, there's some things we can change. Uh, I'll show. I'll go back to this page, which shows us the new elements, and you'll see we have a div ID of header. We could replace this with header and it would be much more HTML friendly and just structured better so that looks like the first thing I want to do and you can have an ID or a class or any attribute for that matter on an HTML5 tag so let's change this now we could have header ID header we could do that but I don't want to do that. There's not. We don't need to. Um, the way our site's laid out in our CSS, let's just keep the header, just the header uh, tag, and then we want to, of course, close it. Now, I, uh, you can leave the comment that was here. It said end of header div. Uh, you can leave that, but I think this is descriptive enough to tell us what it what it is. Uh, you know, as opposed to just having a closing div, which can be very confusing if you have a lot of divs on your page. So let's save that. Now if we go back and reload, actually sorry this is the wrong, I want to open this, this one. Alright, and you'll see the header is, is now a little messed up. And the reason is because our CSS file is still looking at div ID header when we just have header. So let's open the CSS file. and go down to right here the ID of header now all we have to do here is remove these these pounds these hash tags because we can call the just the header tag by itself it doesn't have an ID so it's just header so I'll save this and we reload and our headers back and uh, I mean I, ju I just think that looks better in general just to look at and to, to just to keep your, your document structured um, if not anything else for anything else now <coughs> excuse me now we have a div ID of menu and you'll see here we have a nav tag which defines navigation links 
So instead of this D div ID menu, I'm going to put a nav. And see how we have menu end? We don't need that now because we know it's a nav. It's the end of the nav tag. Now if we save that, we're going to have the same thing. We're going to have a messed up menu. So we just got to fix that in the CSS. Wherever you see menu, just replace it. Actually, you know what? Let me do one more thing. We're going to have, we also have this left menu here, which will also be a nav. So I do want to add an ID onto this. And we'll just say menu. And then we shouldn't even need to change anything. So let's save that, reload. And because you'll see in the style CSS, we, we're styling an ID of menu. And that doesn't matter which tag it's on. We had a div ID of menu. Now we have a nav ID of menu. But we don't have to change anything here. It's still just referring to an ID of menu. So, I mean, that, that's good for the navigation. Now let's do the same thing for the left menu. Make it a nav. Save, and it should nothing should change. All right, so that's the same. Okay, now the next thing we have Excuse me one second. The next thing we have is our content div. Now if we go back to the W3 Schools site, what I want to use for the content divs is section, which defines a section of a document. And if you look at our document, we have this section and this section. So let's change that. I'm not going to give this an ID or a class. I'm just going to style section only because this and this are the same. They, they were both div ID content. Okay. Save that, and this is going to be screwed up. We got to go change our content div right here and we just want to change that to section and I think that's all yeah that's all we need to do there so let's save that reload oh I did I, I messed up this one second what did I do the section shouldn't have ended here that was a developer that was the end of this div so and I didn't even close this off so the section the second section is gonna end way down here where it says content to end now if we save now it's back alright so if we look at the rest of our document uh, I think that's pretty much it for the home page um, oh one thing I do want to do is I want to add a footer, just a really simple footer. And you'll see we have a where is it? Footer tag right here. Defines a footer for a document or a section. So let's just add um, you know what, let me clear. I'm just gonna do a clear both. And then let's just add a footer tag. And let's just let's do our copyright um, two thousand thirteen blue um, developer directory. Okay. So let's save that and reload and we don't want it there and we don't want it black like that. So let's just go to style and let's add a footer and we want, let's do a Align center, a color of white. Oops, 
sorry. A background color. We can just use background. We don't need to actually use background color of black. And let's add some padding. We'll add 10 pixels to the top, 10 to the bottom. All right, let's save that and reload. And now we have our footer. Let's add a little margin. Uh, let's see, 20 pixels. Move it down a little bit. All right, so there's our footer. All right, so our document is now formatted with HTML5. Uh, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, I think the structure is a lot better. You know, it's easier to design and and just better overall. So um, that's the index page. Um, let's see how much time we have. Ten minutes. All right. Let's. Um, we can do the rest of the pages. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. Um, so. If you want to go to about, open this up with Notepad. All right, let's see the about page. Oh, 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 yeah. All the rest of the pages are going to look screwed up because we haven't changed them. So we got to do the same thing here. And what I'm going to do here is just copy. This is the index page that we just did. I'm just going to copy it all. I'm going to copy it down to the, the first section tag and then go to about and we're going to paste it up to the content because remember we, we replaced content with section so let's just paste that all right and then the content end change that to section okay and let's just add our footer to that page as well with the clear both copy that goes that goes under the container and let's save that and go to about and it's back so now let's do the browse developers page I'm gonna close the about page I'm gonna close the CSS page too and let's open the browse page and same thing I'm gonna copy from the doc type down to the section tag and paste up to the content div okay and then scroll down and We want to go all the way down to the content end and we want to make that a closing section tag. And let's add the footer. I know it's kind of repetitive. Once you get into uh, server side scripting and get some PHP going, you don't need to have repeat HTML code like this. You could just have an have a uh, PHP include file, which would make it a lot easier. So, um, but this is strictly HTML, so it's kind of tedious. So let's save that, reload. That's done. Now we have one more page. We have the contact page. Let's open that with Notepad. Okay, let's actually, I guess I'll add the footer first, since they're already there, goes under here. Okay, we know the content is going to be the section end, and then let's grab the top. Down to section, down to content. Paste, save, reload, and it's back. All right, so that's the structural um, new HTML5 tags. In the coming tutorials, we're going to look at uh, media. We're going to look at the video and audio tags, the canvas tag, and we're also going to look at 
um, some new form elements we can use. So that'll be the next chapter, the next section.